Thank you, Mr. President. I rise today to ask that the California State Senate adjourn in the memory of my friend, Jeremy Merce. He passed away at the age of 43 on January 24th. He battled ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease, for just under a year. Jeremy was a distinguished Californian and a beloved member of your capital community. Jeremy left behind his beautiful wife, Megan, and three young daughters, Jordan, who's four, and twins, Peyton and Taylor, who are just six months old. Megan is here with me today. Jeremy was the Vice President for American Property Casualty Insurance Association. And prior to that, many of you know him from his time advocating for the business community as a legislative representative for the California Chamber of Commerce. A staple of the Sacramento Capital community, Jeremy was hard to miss because he is six foot seven. Jeremy distinguished himself as a standout football player here in Sacramento at Jesuit High School. He went on as a Division I athlete on full scholarship to Idaho State University. Unfortunately, an injury ended his football career, but it sent him back home where he graduated from the University of California, Davis. He then went on to study law at the University of Pacific, McGeorge School of Law here in Sacramento. Jeremy was well respected for consistently operating with integrity, respect, and gratitude for his life, his family, and his job. In the summer of 2017, Jeremy married the love of his life, Megan, who he met during his brief stint practicing law. Jeremy liked to call Megan the boss and said she constantly edited his work. <laughs> Jeremy and Megan built their life here in Sacramento. They added sweet little Jordan to their family in 2018. And just last year, in the midst of Jeremy's battle, they added their twin baby daughters. While Jeremy's home life was completely overrun by four women and little girls that he loved the most in this world, he also made time for his vast and deep friendships. Many of his friends are here with us in the chamber today. Jeremy bonded on the golf course and through his devout fanship for the San Francisco 49ers. Never losing his sense of competition, even while fighting ALS, he asked his longtime friends not to forgive him for missing golf tournaments because he would never miss them, but rather to let him hit from the closer white tees. I'm sure he outdrove them anyway. Jeremy battled ALS with the same heart and intensity and perseverance that he brought to the Capitol, the football field, and the golf links every day. In the Sacramento ALS walk, Jeremy led Team Merce, which was a team of over 100 Capitol community members, friends, and family, who raised tens of thousands of dollars for ALS. And we all wore these red shirts that I have on today, an obvious nod to his beloved San Francisco 49ers. In 2022, he successfully fought for budget funding for a cure he was able to secure $2 million towards funding for ALS Association. I asked a number of Jeremy's friends to share with me a favorite story or trait about him. Each one talked about his extraordinary athleticism and tenacity, his love for Megan and his girls. But they also uniformly told me that Jeremy was a man who sought out a diversity of input. He valued the professional intelligence of his female peers and asked them often for their thoughts and contributions. He loved being a part of this capital community and this community loved him back. Jeremy's spirit, passion, and heart will be sorely missed. If you're lucky, at some point in your life, a person will come along and let you walk beside them in their journey. And as a result of that, you will get to be a part of something much bigger than yourself. 
Jeremy Merce gave that opportunity to a great number of us. The California State Senate offers our greatest condolences to you, Megan, and to Jordan, Peyton, Taylor, Jeremy's friends, family, and everyone who enjoyed the life of Jeremy Merce. Thank you.